okay, but I'm still attached, so <laughs> it's a step in the right direction, I guess. Um, would you guys entertain a few words from on behalf of the uh, communications committee at this time? But as part of the public input, just sure. so I can kind of bring it up to speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For everyone's information, Mr. Urban is, is the chairman of the town meeting communications committee. Okay, well, um, we have been um, charged and had appointed members, or as you just mentioned myself, was the um, appointed as a chair. And Melissa St. Lawrence has been the clerk, and now we have the new member, Cynthia, which you guys just gave the okay to tonight, so she'll be coming on board. We did have a uh, meeting last week after we got the wheels rolling, and we made some suggestions. We were going to have a meeting tonight, but with Cynthia getting her appointment, we thought maybe we should push it back a couple of days a week because there was nothing pressing at the time, so we can involve her in what's going on as we go forward, considering it was she will hopefully, and I think she will be, very positive influence and role on this committee. So our charge has been to um, get information gathered from inside the town hall on the warrant for the town meeting, which we are currently doing. And it is to get it out to the public as best we can using maybe some newer methods and techniques and media that haven't been used yet. So we discussed different avenues that we could take in trying to accomplish this goal. And um, we came to the conclusion that it is a goal that at this point needs to move fast because the special town meeting is coming up on September 21st. And um, the baby steps have become more like baby runs. <laughs> so what we have done and what we discussed was like I just said, taking different avenues. So we have created a uh, Facebook page to express different things that are coming here and, and getting together. And I think the um, biggest thing that came out of that meeting, which the ball is now currently rolling on, is the town warrant will now be up. And most of the businesses, when people go into town, uh, we haven't gotten them all yet, but everyone we've been to so far has come on board. So not only at the public locations which the town is charged with hosting them, such as the town hall, the fire station, I believe it's the library, you will now also be able to find the town warrant um, at Longpole Village Liquors, Barujo's Farm, Reed Brothers Farm, Amita's Country Store, and hopefully we'll be rounding out the rest of that list in the following days here before the week is over. People will be able to view the town warrant. There will be at least one, if not two, posted at these locations. And along with that, we felt it best where town warrants can be, even for people that read them all the time, can be kind of difficult to get through, especially if you don't understand the wording of the language. Some of the language in there has to be in there just because that is the way town warrants are done. And some people have trouble taking that information in when they sit in the meeting and they flip it over and they go, oh boy, what is this? I don't understand what they're saying. So we have come up with this idea that um, once the town warrant has been adjusted, which I believe it should be done by tomorrow, all the little nuances will be taken care of. We're going to come, get a stack of them, post it where it needs to be, um, hopefully by the end of the day, and then sometime between tomorrow and I am anticipating the weekend, we are going to put with, at that location where every warrant is, we're going to put with it, a piece of paper, just one piece of paper, it could be double-sided, it depends upon how much room it takes. And it is essentially going to be a snapshot of what is inside that warrant. So it will say something along the lines of question one is in regards to X number of monies in this account. This is to pay for this. A yes means the money comes out of this account, a no means the money stays in the account and this does not get approved. We're looking to really take all the wordy language out of it and kind of water it down so the people that are on the fly that don't have 10 or 15 minutes to stand there and read through it, who haven't come here for a coffee, can take this piece of paper home with them, maybe take it to work in the morning when they're grabbing their coffee, or their donut at one of the farm stands, 
and then they can sit down and read it and digest it and kind of have an idea of what's going to happen in a five minute snapshot instead of sitting through those pages of you know articles that may be a little tough to interpret without really sitting down and thinking about it. So hopefully that will be, this will all be up and running by the middle of next week. The warrants I'll pick up tomorrow and we'll distribute them over the next day or two and then that one page snapshot will hopefully go out in subsequent days following. Um, we are looking for more public input. We need public input to make this thing run. Three, three people on the committee is great to get stuff out there, but if we don't have ideas from the people that want this stuff, then we can't serve them maybe in their best interest, and that's what we're looking to do. So, um, we're looking to expand, as I said, to other media. So right now we are going to other towns over the course of this next week, and we'll be gathering information as to how they provide um, input and digestion of stuff like this to their townspeople and their residents so that they understand and that they are getting uh, the information that they're seeking in a timely fashion. So hopefully this will prompt them to come to more meetings, uh, maybe a Wednesday night or a town meeting or a special meeting, and sit in that seat and say, okay, I understand what's going on. Here's my opinion, and I'm going to vote either for it or against it, or however they're going to do it. Maybe this will spawn some interest. So, um, I guess my, my closing thought is, um, if you have, which I'm sure, it's like the mentions you've read the Gettysburg Address many a times, <laughs> and um, in, as you get towards the end of what most of the people read, it says, you know, the government is um, of the people, by the people, and for the people, and I wholly believe that in order for something like this to work, whether it be this committee, or this board that sits here on any board, we need active voter, resident, business person, or people participation in this town government to move this town into the 21st century. That is the only way it's ever, ever, ever going to get done, is if we all do it together. You can't have four or five of the same ten people trying to do it all, because it just you don't get enough input, then we all know things start to go around, people are guessing that stuff, making bad decisions, and it just makes it much more difficult to serve the, the people that you're trying to serve with their best interest and well-being. So hopefully people will come to me, they can find me anywhere they can call me, although I do ask that you don't call after seven, I have a one-year-old baby, <laughs> which I prefer not to wake up. <laughs> but you can call me, uh, you can send me a text message and email, my information's out there. And um, people need to look into other media outlets, uh, town website, like I said, a Facebook, a Twitter, sign up for this stuff, and hopefully we're going to get this ball rolling. So that is our update currently. We do have a meeting. I think we're going to post, get it posted hopefully by tomorrow for uh, Wednesday. It should be 6 to 6.30. We'll probably do it here in whatever space can be afforded to us for about a half hour. So hopefully we'll have people come out, and we'd like to see a little bit of public input and you know, give us a hand, tell us what you want us to do, what you want to see, so we can take it to the people here and um, mm -hmm. and, and get the information that you so well deserve and need. So that's all that we have right now. I thank you for your indulgence for a few minutes, and uh, hopefully the next time we meet again, I'll have some more updated and enlightening things to tell you. <laughs> thank you, Robert. We're good yeah. thank We're you. trying. We're trying. Baby Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, just for your information, by the end of the day tomorrow, we should have the version of the warrant that contains all the tools of the finance committee. Um, we await the news to be waiting until the week before town meeting for a final finance committee action on two items. But we have the recommendations from last time, and we should have a version ready for you to use to post in the stores and so forth, and in the case of the finance committee, those recommended. Great, thank you.